Hey guys, what's going on? Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us, and finally I do have my review of the iPhone 4. Now, I've really been uh, waiting for these reception issues that many, including myself, are experiencing to be resolved, and it really doesn't look like anything is going to happen in the near future, so I thought, what the heck, might as well do it now. It's been about uh, two to three weeks since launch, and I am enamored with the phone. Now, I've had three iPod Touches, so I'm very familiar with the iOS, previously called iPhone OS. Had a first gen, a second, and uh, more recently a third, which I have just sold. I have none of them left at this point. This is my first iPhone upgrading from a 64 gigabyte third generation touch. So, um, just switched over to AT&T from Sprint. That's been a good experience. Uh, if anybody wants a video, let me know, and I'll go ahead and make one. Anyways, uh, here it is. This is the 32 gigabyte black. I think that's still all that's available are the black ones for some reason. Um, I pre-ordered this on the 11th. I believe that was the day. I was there at the store at 10 in the morning. They could not order because all the servers were down already. I was the first one in the door here on the East Coast, and uh, they just couldn't do it because they were all uh, all the pre-orders were. I guess they're, I just guess at and servers were down, so I could not pre-order it. Um, I did actually pre-order it. They pre-ordered it later that evening. So it was pre-ordered the 11th, but it was many, many, many hours after that it started. And I got this the 23rd, so a day early. Anyways, uh, nice box. Not as nice as Apple's previous boxes. There's no foam, there's no foam up there. But I think it looks good. Packaging looks good. It definitely shows the phone, iPhone 4 up there. Uh, there is an unboxing. Check back on my channel for that back on the 23rd. Phone sits right on top here. Uh, might as well show you also in the box. You're going to get your information in here, including Apple stickers, your fingertips. There's no SIM remo removal tool anymore. In the rest of the box here, you would have your sync cable. The headphones that I never use are up here. And then your uh, plug-in-the-wall uh, powered USB port for charging would be found there. You're not going to find a cleaning cloth or anything as the screen is designed to be fingerprint proof, I guess, uh, in mind or resistant anyhow. So here's the phone. Uh, over on the left, there's a switch at the top to control um, the, the silence mode. Your buttons for volume up and down are found here as well. They feel really good. I should, I should mention that holding this phone feels really good. It's much more solid than the 3GS. I have used a 3GS on multiple occasions, and uh, this just feels a lot better. That's all you're going to find over here on the left. Actually, I should touch on this. The antenna is down here. It's hard to see. It's a black... Uh, just a black line. If you touch that when you're in a call, you have no service. It goes down to no service. Even from five bars, it takes about 10 seconds to get down there, but there's nothing. Maybe that's, uh, I know it's not only me, but there's a lot of people that say that's not an issue. It definitely is for me. So you need to be careful how you hold it or get a case. On the bottom, I believe this one is the microphone and this one is the speaker over here. Two screws to hold it in. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. And then your sync connector in the middle. On the right, you're just going to find the SIM tray here. Boy, that just totally whites out on camera, but if you stick something in there, that'll open up. Your SIM card is found in there. On top is a power button. Also kind of whites out your um, headphone jack and a uh, one of your other microphones. There's two microphones, so uh, supposedly it'll be quieter on the street from noise cancellation. So the front and the back are made of glass that uh, is supposedly has the same strength as mineral or sapphire crystal, which is very good. Um, again, it just feels amazing. It's very thin. Uh, the top and bottom are the glass, and then there's your uh, stainless steel here in the middle. I think it's stainless steel. Looks really good. It feels really good. And aside from this, that's my only problem with this guy. I love it. So you'll turn it on. You're going to find it's a very high resolution. I believe it's 960 by 640. Um, no service down here in my basement where I have to go to make this video today. It's running iOS 4, latest version 4.0.0. Um, the screen on this, I have an iPad, and using this and then going to the iPad makes the iPad look like it's in 16-bit colors. The Retina display on here is by far the best screen I've ever seen on anything. TVs, laptops, mobile devices, anything um, definitely comes here, and I've used... Uh, not so much reviewed, but used a lot of a lot of devices. So screen is amazing. Touch, it's the same as anything else. It works great. Great, ca great capacitive screen here. 
The camera is another one of my favorite parts about this phone. The back is a five, it's a five megapixel sensor. Um, the focus on here, you touch the focus, it will do macro shots quite well. In fact, I'll take this picture right there of this desk and I'll put it in at the end of the video. Touch the focus, it takes just a second. Touch the button, there it found it necessary to use flash. So yes, you are going to find a LED flash next to the five megapixel sensor over here. Um, this is controlled. You can have flash on, off, or automatic. Uh, usually I leave it on automatic. You can switch the camera, so you're about to see, there's me. I've been at the pool all day, and there's the flip recording this video. There is a front camera, of course, up here next to your earpiece. It's kind of hard to see. I believe it's 1.3 megapixels. It looks um, excellent. I've used it with FaceTime a few times. If anybody would like, I will do a FaceTime demonstration here on video. Uh, you are going to be able to take stills with this, just flip the switch, and now you can do 720p video. I have different video and picture tests. I may not put that picture at the end, uh, but please do check back for the picture uh, quality tests that I do have uh, on my channel. So this, I think, is the best phone in the world. I've not used the Droid X because uh, it runs Android, and I hate Android. I have used the HTC Evo 4G. Hardware-wise, I think this still feels more solid. I just think it's a better device. Uh, it's very quick. It's one gigahertz processor, 512 megs of RAM, it, uh, and wireless on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. It's just a very, very, very solid phone. I had some, a couple people ask me, uh, what kind of scratches do you get on it after using it? I used it about a week or 10 days without a case. It's very good. If you use an iPod Touch or an older iPhone for a week or 10 days without a case and used it as much as I do, it's going to look like crap. I do have scratches in this iPhone little hairlines. It looks like spider webs. There's one here. You can't even see it on camera because it's really smudged from my fingers. But it is not bad at all. I keep a bumper case on it now. Check back for my review of that. It'll be it tomorrow. And uh, it works fantastically. I love the bumper case. Um, the front is front seems to be stronger. Maybe because I don't set it down like this a whole lot. But um, material-wise, this is an excellent phone. Let's talk about battery life. Supposedly it's better battery life than the 3GS. I don't know. I never owned a 3GS. Um, I'm on 19%. I've been using it all day. It is 5 o'clock p.m. here on the East Coast. And um, battery life is not as good as my third generation iPod Touch. Well, obviously, there's a wireless radio in here that is bringing in AT&T's 3G data. And I have used 3G quite a bit today. Another video, uh, I'll probably do 3G data from AT&T is very nice. So, excellent phone. I really don't have anything to complain about except I do think that could have been designed better, but with a bumper case on it, it's no problem at all. So battery life is okay. If you use it as much as I do, you, you won't have much problem getting through a whole day from, let's say, 6 in the morning to uh, 11 at night. That's not been an issue, um, but I do have to charge it all night. It takes a little bit to charge like the iPad. So, excellent phone. I highly recommend you look at this phone if you're considering moving to AT&T. Uh, you can get a 32 gig for $299. I'm still three. $299 for 32 gig and for 16 gig drop 100 to 199 Excellent phone. Uh, if you're on Sprint, uh, I would switch because I did. Um, but the Evo 4G is probably the best phone on Sprint right now. So, beautiful case, beautiful design, amazingly gorgeous screen and operating system on here. I love this phone. Um, and I will not be upgrading until about a year, so I'll have an iPhone 5. Let me know what you think. Did I miss anything in the review? I hope not. Uh, everything's going great. It's really quick. Looks amazing. I've said this uh, several times now, but uh, gets the go from me, and uh, that's hard to do, but it is an Apple product, so maybe not. So there we go. My honest review, I think, of the iPhone 4 from Apple. Definitely recommend it. Definitely appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. Our website is www.techinform.us. My Twitter for important updates is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. All these links are down below. And then every Tuesday night, you can find me on our live web show on ustream.tv slash techinformus. Thanks again, guys. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Bye-bye.